What's up YouTube? If you're having problems um, finding out how to convert your audio into stereo before you upload your videos from an interview um, or, or such, then I'm going to show you today how to use Goldwave to actually do that. So um, as you can see I've actually got um, a, like a, um, a sound file opened up right now um, and you will see that there's just you know, there's a deadline on the the, uh, the bottom section. Um, the only the audio is actually only coming through the left channel, which it will upload to YouTube the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to convert how to convert it over into stereo. So all you're going to do this is the trial version of Goldwave, by the way, which I only downloaded about a week ago. Um, I had a similar problem, so we've we've selected STE 007.wav. Um, so that's actually already in there, and we're just going to um, choose the left channel so we're going to go to edit and then choose the left channel so it just highlights the left and then we're just going to copy it very very simple this is it won't take a minute and then we're going to go back to edit and we're going to go to channel and switch to the right and we're going to paste and as you'll see that's now made it um, a stereo channel Te technically it's a mono channel but it's coming through your left and your right headphone when this gets uploaded to YouTube and we're just going to click save and that now has obviously saved the channel and that is how you will do this it's very very simple um, I don't think there's actually a video on YouTube that shows this properly I, I do not understand why um, that is an evaluation version it will do it I literally downloaded it a week ago so it's relevant to the time if anything changes you'll try and keep me out for it as I do use this channel myself and I do I do this stuff myself at all my expos. So uh, I do hope it helps you though. I hope that really stops your brain from racking on how to do this because it's a bit of an issue. There, now there may be a way to do it on the uh, H4n or or other similar Zoom devices that I, like which is what I use. I use a H4n, but um, certainly haven't worked it out yet as it's a brand new device and. We don't always have the time to find these things out, so, you know, hope it helps.